This week's market update, we're switching it up a little bit, showing some different developments going on. And behind me, 89,000 square feet, Discovery Square number one. Mortensen Construction developed this project, and they just announced Discovery Square number two. It is now in the planning session. They are looking at building over 129,000 square feet of additional space. In the building behind us, it's a mixture of University of Minnesota, Mayo Clinic, national brands. We'll see what's coming for Discovery Square phase number two. It's an exciting time in Rochester, so we're gonna show you some of the developments that are going on. Right behind me is residence at Discovery Square. This is a combination of commercial space and mainly apartments. Studio starting at $1,150 per month, according to the website, inhproperties.com. This is one of the many apartments that are coming online very, very shortly here in the Rochester market. Next market update, we are right off of First Avenue and 4th Street. Don't what? roll down the window. They are doing construction. Ackerberg is a developer based out of the Twin Cities area, and they just recently acquired this property here. I believe the price was $2.2 million, according to property records. And they're developing micro units with commercial space on the main floor. In August 2018, Ryan Companies, based out of Minneapolis, acquired the Wells Fargo building behind us, and they are in the middle of their construction. As you can see, what they're calling an iconic glass addition, right to the front. They have the frame up, and they're completely under construction right now off of the Peace Plaza in the busy downtown. Next market update, you're right on 2nd Street. As you can see, they're digging for the Virgil site, which is right next to St. Mary's. We're in an interesting part of Rochester right now with St. Mary's directly behind us and the Generos property that Mayo owns has a three-story addition. You can start to see the completion of that and the finishes of the facade. And as I go down the block, the John E. Herman homes were newly constructed by Mayo Clinic. This is a place for, according to the Mayo website, people with mental illness that are looking to get back into their community and have a smooth transition of living. And they really designed these nice properties behind me. And just past those, the Berkman. The Berkman is a developer again out of the Minneapolis area. His name is, uh, his company's name is Lattice, and they are getting closer and closer day by day to finishing this huge project of apartments. Next market update, we are at the Maven. This is a joint venture between Titan, a local development company, and Opus, a Twin Cities developer. The apartments behind me range from studios to one bedrooms to two bedrooms. According to BerkshireCommunities.com, the studio rents out for $1,382 per month. They have main floor commercial space, and they are getting near completion of this project. Hopefully, we'll get an inside look in the end of August. Right off of Broadway, once Rochester Hall Market is becoming Incubator EDU. The Rochester Public Schools is renovating this building with the help of Benneke Construction. It's right next to the Maven, and there's gonna be students coming here to learn about the entrepreneurial ecosystem that exists in town and how they also can pursue their dreams of being an entrepreneur.